<laughs> Ambassador Fisher, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it is a great pleasure to join you this evening in the University of Cyprus' beautiful courtyard to honor the 4th of July and to celebrate together the meaning of this very important day. Independence, freedom, self-determination, all of which means so much to us in Cyprus. The ongoing project, the beacon of light on the horizon, but never an arrival, and better tomorrow. While July 4 is celebrated, is celebrated with barbecues and fireworks in the United States, the celebration of liberty rings true because of what July 4 means. From Benjamin Franklin to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., they all knew that July 4 means something worth fighting for. They were celebrating and protecting the American dream. The meaning behind the American dream is a part of all of us, and that is one of its true legacies and gifts. It is a product of the aspirations of all people from every corner of the globe. The desire for freedom and the responsibility to construct, maintain, and improve a progressive society, a constant striving to overcome differences, to eliminate injustice, and to celebrate the freedom and liberty of persons. This is the universal, universality of the dream and what the dream means to us all. The path of freedom is one that holds a special meaning in Cyprus and one we have never had the fortune of taking for granted. While the illegal Russian invasion of Ukraine has waken up the world to the old challenges of war and fragmentation in Cyprus, a country divided and invaded by Turkey in 1974, and since then under occupation, we have been kept awake to this battle every day for close to 50 years. That makes the dream of freedom even more bitter and present. Freedom is a word pregnant with meaning and aspiration here in Cyprus, a dream we are trying to build in everything we do as citizens. As we celebrate the founding of a great nation, we choose its independence by ending colonialism. We also remind ourselves of the similarities with Cyprus, with the path chosen by the American people. Personal and social prosperity can only be founded on freedom, equality, and justice. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are the true crown jewels of the human condition. The rule of law, the guarding of democracy, the prosperity of the people as well as peace in the world are values that are equally shared by the people of Cyprus and the countries of all of us here tonight. It is precisely these common values that have allowed for an accelerated and dynamic bilateral relations between Cyprus and the United States. And it is fact it is, in fact, no exaggeration to say that in recent years, Cyprus-U.S. relations have reached new heights and are no longer viewed, either by Washington or Nicosia, solely through the lens of the Cyprus problem. It is an all-encompassing strategic partnership that has produced numerous achievements in the field of security, cooperation in science and technology, joint military drills, the establishing of Cyclops Training Center, as well as cooperation in the protection of our cultural and archaeological heritage. Cyprus and the United States have come together and will continue to do so time and time again in the fight against terrorism, human trafficking, illegal drug trafficking, and the proliferation of weapons. Looking to the future of our partnership and building on the important work that has been done there is a joint vision and determination to further deepen ties in a manner that is also tangible and visible to our citizens' everyday lives. These steps will also benefit tourism, education, business, and investment collaborations between Cyprus and the United States. Dear friends, the founding fathers of the United States 
shared a common belief to change and challenge the status quo and to create a better future for their children. This is our top priority in Cyprus and one we pursue with a sense of urgency to end the unacceptable status quo on the island caused by the Turkish invasion of 1974 and to create a better future for all Cypriots, Greek, Turkish, Armenian, Maronite, Latino, in which we prosper in peaceful coexistence and collaboration. And so we will continue to strive for the freedom we deserve for reunification. We ask our partners around the world, we ask the United States to share our vision and help us to realize the dream of a reunified free Cyprus. I would like to warmly thank Ambassador Fisher for her keen insights and for sharing ideas on the way forward. I wish to express my sincere appreciation to the U.S. government, to President Biden, for the unwavering support in reaching a comprehensive settlement of the Cyprus problem, full in line with the U.N. Security Council resolutions that call for bizonal, by communal federation with political equality. In closing, I wish to also thank Julie for hosting us this evening, for providing us this opportunity to celebrate what is possible when people believe in freedom, and self-determination. Please join me in raising our glasses as we celebrate <laughs> as we celebrate peace, liberty, and justice. Thank you very much. Of Cyprus, Your Excellencies, dear guests, uh, it is an honor for me to deliver an address on the premises of this historic building of the University of Cyprus, celebrating the United States of America Independence Day. On a personal note, as a student, researcher, and university professor in the U.S., I'm grateful for the time and experiences in a country where the people keep pursuing their dreams and aspirations. What the United States has achieved from its independence and onwards is remarkable. A country made by its people that managed to thrive, innovate, and excel. A country in a continuous quest for development and evolution. Today, we celebrate the American people's dedication to freedom and democracy, their struggle for, ind for independence, for self-governance, and their achievements ever since. We also celebrate the bridges that have been built bridges of collaboration and productive synergies with the goals of prosperity and exchange of knowledge. As an academic institution, we feel truly blessed to have established unique relationships with so many countries from all over the world. With all the, dipl the diplomatic missions here in Cyprus, we are building strong academic connections, aiming at bringing our people together, focusing on growth and peace. We know very well that the most powerful weapon for bettering ourselves and our planet is education, cooperation, and mutual understanding. As we celebrate the United States Independence Day, we remind ourselves what can be achieved and when we are committed to values and ideas that honor humanity. Today is a day of celebration and also a day of remembrance. We reflect on the past to learn and create our own new and unique path. Once again, I'm very privileged to join your celebrations, uh, Madam Ambassador, and I hope to all of you that you have an enjoyable evening. Thank you so much. Mr. President, ministers, ambassadors, general officers, dear friends, dear guests, Welcome to tonight's celebration of America's 247th birthday. I want to say thank you, Professor, for welcoming us to the University of Cyprus campus, and thank you for allowing us to transform your courtyard into a little bit of an American backyard. An event like this doesn't come together without tremendous resources and planning. So I want to thank our many generous donors whose contributions made today possible. And I'd like to express my gratitude to the university, 
as well as to my own embassy team and the talented musicians of the Naval Forces Europe and Africa uh, Woodwind Quintet. All of your efforts have made our Independence Day celebration one to remember. Mr. President, I've noted that education plays a central role in many of your administration's goals. Goals for economic development, goals for your nation's youth, goals for unifying the island. So holding this event at the first Cypriot public university to open its doors felt to us like the perfect fit. Whether it's the educational ties that have brought more than 6,000 Cypriots to the United States since independence, whether it's the university ties that link our researchers and innovators, or the ties and understanding of one another we develop when studying at places like Queens College in New York, all these can and do bridge the divide of thousands of kilometers.